guys, this is James from the originalsoriginal.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a track and then quickly just put stuff into it and then mess around with it to get the sound that you want. Okay, let's go to Logic Pro. Alright, it'll open. I'm um, leaving remember guys to rate and subscribe, <laughs> of course. Okay, uh, it's all open, and we'll have this cool sound, uh, come on soundtrack that starts like this. Right, this was just a piece of music I was doing for a friend. Um, and okay, let's just take that little snippet, delete everything else, erase, and move this down to there. Okay, I've also moved automation data, right? And all from last tutorial, you'll know that automation is basically the chain. You can change the volume of um, a track. Okay, it sounds basically like this. Okay, per se, I want to add a reverb to this, right? To get a really nice, like, sound out of it. Okay, you can you go to reverb by clicking in the inserts. Right, and you'll have all these options. I've gone to reverb, and then it'll open another sub open sub menu, right, which has a verb, e verb, go um, e verb, gold verb, platinum verb, silver verb, and space designer. Right, let's just uh go into a verb and then stereo. I'll open this tiny little box. Right, fairly complicated. Okay, this is for grand piano on stage. Okay, playing, increase reverb. Wow, yeah. You can also increase pedal delay. And a little change there. Okay, let's. Uh, okay. You can also increase reflectivity. Real echo. It's like changing the size of the room, basically. Okay. Okay, but let's uh, take that off. Okay, if you want to add a really original sounding piece of synth, uh, if you go to uh, this little menu here, right, and then just click, oh, just click and hold, okay, it'll come up with all these other synths. And um, what I'm going to show you is uh, EXS24 Sampler. And the best way to get to know these, um, these synths is just going through them and playing around with one piece of music and sounding how it changes. And then when you when it comes to implementing them into a real piece of music, you just know what it sounds like and you know where to go. Okay, but for this, we'll go to ES, um, ES, EXS24. Okay, open this. And then you'll get this little box. Okay, I'm just going to show you basically what these... Uh, what these buttons do. You, I'll probably show you what the rest of it does in another tutorial, but for now, these are just, um, I'll just show you what these do. Okay. Attack time. Okay, you can edit that, and it will basically delay the time that it sort of, every note when played, it'll have a, a like a, a jump, and then it'll play the note. But you can delay that. So that it has the jump later on in the um later in the note. Okay, you can also introduce this. It's quite hard to hear, but there is definitely a change. Okay. And also with the last one. Right, okay. Uh you there are also loads of other things you could do with this. Uh this this box okay you could go to let's select these or you can um um edit basically anything any part of the note there are there is more detail you can go into um for example you can manually change uh the pitch of a note you can change the wave um and loads of loads of other things that i'm not bothered to go into right now but i pr i might go in on other two uh, other tutorials, but also if you want more information, go to my uh, website, which is theoriginalsoriginal.com. Okay, it's currently under construction, but I'm redesigning it, and it'll be up soon. Um, uh, yeah. So keep 
rate and subscribe and keep coming back for more videos from the originals original.com.